Hello everybody, welcome back to Gun Activity 365. Just wanted to show a little video here about something I did to my Taurus GX4 XL. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this, I just want to show how I did it. I'm a budget guy. You guys that have watched videos in the past, you know that. But uh, you guys that are kind of new, you guys are going to see what I'm talking about here. So, Taurus GX4 XL, we're not really going over the gun. Uh, if you want to see a overview of that and kind of specs on the gun, you can go um, and check out my previous video. I have all the uh, all the specs and everything of this gun, talk about it, and kind of my experience with it and everything, and uh, go check that out. This video is going to be about this red dot that I put on here. Um, it is a sight mark, mini shot, a spec, M3, micro reflex sight. So this gun, I tried putting a, having focusing issues here apparently, um, I tried putting a bigger mini shot, um, sight mark mini shot, I think it was, a, I don't know if it's an M spec or A spec, whatever it was, I tried putting something bigger on it and it would not fit inside of this Toro cut spot here. Um, so I put this one on here, uh, ordered this one and it has fit perfect, it's worked great. Um, so we'll go over the box real fast and then we'll show the light and everything. Uh, like I said, sight mark, mini shot, a spec M3 micro reflex sight, uh, fits pistols with shield RMSC footprint. That's what that is. So you can slap it on, uh, put the correct screws in, put some Loctite on them, whatever you want to do. And you're ready to roll auto brightness control reticle. Uh, co witness with standard pistol sights, red reticle illumination, lightweight compact aluminum alloy housing. So everything on there is correct. I will say that. Um, haven't had an issue with none of it, and uh, I think it's been great. This um, this red dot here. This is how it comes in here. Our user manual. Um, got some tools, some extra screws. Uh, the gauge here, a um, couple little things in the box, nothing special. It does come with this where you can put it on a rail. Uh, this here is off that GX4. That's the, the top plate that goes over the opposite ready cut. Um, so I just kind of put it in here so I know where it's at. Um, nothing really to see in the box, but we're going to go over uh, the light here and take a look at it. And I want to give you guys my opinion and uh, we'll go from there. So, like I said, this Toro GX4 XL, uh, I'm going to say a little bit about this gun. I love this gun. Haven't had an issue with it. A lot of rounds through it. Love it. Uh, not one issue. Absolutely one of the best guns that money can buy for the uh, 350 Actually, these days you can get them for $300. 300 to $450 bucks is pretty much what they run. Uh, the XL is this part here. The just normal Taurus GX4 would be stop right here. So this would be gone. It'd look just like that, pretty much. Um, I decided the XL. I just like a little bigger gun, and uh, I think it fits me a little better. Um, this gun has nothing in it. I safety checked it. Everything's good to go. Um, take that out. So this is the red dot here. Um, it is a little. It's a little hard to see. I I just use a cell phone to record and it doesn't really focus 100% the best, but you can see it. You can see what I'm talking about. You can see the co-witnessing uh, sights do work. Uh, the white dot up there is the front sight. Obviously, the red dot is the red dot that I installed that we're talking about. Um, you can see you can use either one. Um, now, need to adjust it a little bit and everything. Um, I don't have 100% on. I've just... I've shot a lot of rounds through just kind of seeing, and it's still in the same spot, but I need to adjust it. Um, so for this, um, I don't remember what it cost. I think it was a hundred bucks. You can, I mean, you can find them for eighty bucks. There's some places are hundred and sixty bucks for this red dot. It just, it really depends. Um, yeah, it just really depends. Uh, your adjustment screw is right there. There's your hold down screws. Um, on the box, it says um where is it at? auto brightness control reticle so right there it's pretty pretty bright but if a guy was to put some cover over it there you can see it changing so it's a little little dimmer a little smaller because we're in uh 
kind of in shade per se. Uh, there's no not a lot of light going on it. But then when I move my hand, it turns bigger because we are in a bright setting, so it's brightness controlled by itself. That is just down there, right in the front. Kind of see uh, right down in there, right between the two hold down screws. Um, got black just to match the gun. Um, I almost wish I would have went with the tan one because it. Uh, this one is like a gloss black. Kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of like a mid-gloss uh, black. Doesn't really match the gun at all. I mean, nowhere does it match the gun, but it's all it's all black, so it's cool to me. But um, I think if I would have bought another one, probably would have did the tan one on this because the tan's a little flatter, so it would have kind of matched this, uh, even though different colors, but the, the flat part would have matched. Um, I put this on here, haven't had an issue. It's worked great. Uh, a lot of people I've had ask um, about... The sight mark lights, I haven't had an issue with them at all. Uh, they've been great to me. They hold hold zero. They've never came off, um, never dying prematurely. I uh, I take the batteries that come with them. I throw them in the trash, and I put, like, $14 uh, little batteries on them. I don't remember the brand I use, uh, just something I bought a pack of on Amazon. But they're not the super cheap ones that die really easy and they're junk. So when you're storing it, a guy really wants to... Um, put this on because what it's doing is it's dimming that light and making your battery last longer um, now Besides that it's keeping everything off the lens and it's keeping it clean um, That's another part of it. It's not just to keep it down because if I throw it in here like this Close it down go throw it in the gun safe tow it around whatever I'm doing it is going to be in a dark um, a dark scene so it's not going to be bright using light anyways, but it does um it does cover and uh, protect it, and also, at the same time, it makes it so the light isn't bright. Now, if I was just going to throw this somewhere where it's light all the time, I would want this on. Um, regardless, like I said, you'd want it on anyways just to cover the lens. Now, if you were carrying this gun on your side, uh, self-defense, whatever it may be, probably wouldn't keep the uh, the cover on because then you got to mess with it and you can't see your sights and this, that, the other. If you're going to carry it, I would carry it just like this in a holster. Um, whether it's on your hip or appendix or over on your back or your pocket, whatever it may be, um, I probably would not keep that on. But that's up to you. Um, but regardless, like I said, the uh, the video is not really about the Taurus GX4 XL. It's just kind of about the site. And uh, just kind of want to show you guys what I did to this. And uh, there's not a bunch of options for upgrading this, but that is one of them. That's why I bought the Toro option, which is Taurus Optic Ready option. Um that was the reason for it was because I wanted to put a red donut. I uh, I only have a couple, I don't know, maybe four to ten guns with red dots, uh, handguns anyways. Not sure exactly how many, but uh, I thought it'd be cool to add another one. And that's why I got the XLs because it's bigger. And I got the Taurus Optic Ready option. So the Taurus Toro option for uh, the red dot. But that's what I put on here. Uh, it's been great. Uh, I had a comment on one of my other videos asking if these were shake awake, whatever. Um, the M spec, the bigger ones that are, I have like on ARs and uh, a shotgun of mine, and I have it on a bigger pistol. They uh, they have um, a button here and a button here. The button over here is to dim it down and to shut it off. The button over here is to dim it or to get the brightness up. Um, these are like I said, they're always on. So. I don't know. I can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to. Probably not. It's hard to see. It is on. If this is if this covers on, it's still on, but it's dim, so you're saving light. So that's all the video is about. Is this? I just wanted to show you guys uh, that. And like I said, if you guys want to learn a little bit more about the uh, Taurus GX4 XL, uh, go check out my video on it. And uh, we are gonna have shooting videos of it and. Um, we will have a uh, little longer review uh, here in the, the future about this um, red dot, and we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.